Okay, and this next one, what I would like to go over is dates and numbers. But before we get started, there is something that I want to preface is that all these calculations, calculator using date operations, you can actually do this with add formula, which we will go over later. That is how to know a little bit of SQL, a little bit of basic stuff, like give me this column minus this column. We could totally do that. If you know it, you can just go to add formula and do it. However, there are some fast and dirty ways to do it. I'd like you to open up dates and numbers. Now in dates and numbers, we have a calculator. I'd like you to go grab that calculator, put it right underneath our text area. And I'm gonna just move this a little bit down so I can see. I'm gonna take that little circle connected to that triangle. So one thing that I'm doing with my ETLs is I'm trying to be very neat to keep a very clean kitchen. I'm not putting it behind it, I'm not putting it up here. I'm trying to keep the lines pretty straight and keep things fairly organized. So I'm gonna to go to calculator. This is very straightforward how this works. We're gonna do subtraction. We're gonna call this profit. Let's do that profit. And here I'd like you to go to pick the function you want. We have addition, multiplication, division, etc. We're going to pick subtraction and we're going to pick a column. We're going to pick revenue and we're going to subtract spend from it. Pretty easy, right? But there's another trick. Check this out. I'm going to hit add calculation. I'm going to do revenue minus 10. And here, what I can do, same exact thing, subtraction, I'm going to pick my revenue column, but I don't have to pick this column, I can say a value. And in this value, I can put whatever I want. So I can write 10. So there you go, you don't have to make a column that has that number. And this is actually pretty big in old world, we used to have to do this, we have to make a column to kind of do it, it's, it's a pain in the butt. But now we have it, it's easy. Let's hit run preview. Okie dokie, let's go to calculator preview. And if we go all the way to the right, there's our profit number. And here we have our revenue minus 10. Let's go check it out. So we have a 50 on the end of what I'm looking at. And if I go to revenue right there, 60, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So the calculator is there. You have it if you need to do some very quick, dirty math and you can use it.